Hi moms, I'm Candice, a life coach with MySpockLife.com. Thank you for joining me today. I want to give you a few tips and share with you some things that I do in order to make my life so much easier. I organize our meals. I know that there's a big thing going on where people get together at the beginning of the week or once a month and they do all of their meal prep at one time and then they have their meals for the rest of the week. I think that's great if you can do it and if you have a big enough freezer. Where I live and where I travel most often, the freezers are not ginormous like American freezers and the refrigerators are not either. Many people do not go to the grocery store once a week. They might go once or twice, maybe three times. People go to the grocery store often because they're cooking fresh foods and they're eating fresh foods on a daily basis. Whereas in more Western countries, we rely a lot on processed foods. I personally prefer not to eat processed foods often. We do have our junk food day, and then of course, um, I let my daughter choose many things that she might want, but we still have guidelines and boundaries that we stay within. But on a day-to-day -day basis, working a job, coming home, and still needing to feed our families, what is the easiest thing? I know for many people, the easiest thing they feel is to stop by the drive through lane at a fast food restaurant and order something and take it home, sit in front of the TV, eat and be done. That's the meal for the nighter. And you know, if you do that once or twice, I think it's fine. However, you will find that a little bit of preparation, just a little bit, will help you all week long to not only eat better, but also to save money. So here's what I do. We have seven days in the week. So for each day, week after week, I know exactly what's on the menu and I change it up. So Monday, it's leftovers because we should be coming back from the weekend, rush, having a very busy day, and we're tired, don't want to come home from the first day of the week and need to cook. So, if there are leftovers in the fridge, that's what we're having every Monday. And if there are no leftovers in the fridge, then I will do something simple like an omelet and a salad. I do try to make a salad every single night and that simplifies the menu quite a bit because if you have a salad, you can have something simple like soup or like an omelet or a baked potato and no need to spend a lot of time in preparation. On Tuesday nights, we do pasta. Tuesday's a long day for me and when I come home, I don't want to make a big meal or spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So what kind of pasta we have, it depends on what ingredients are in the refrigerator, but it's going to be a quick and easy pasta. And thankfully there's a million pasta recipes so I never need to worry about it. On Wednesdays we do something simple like maybe soup and salad or sweet potato and salad or um, just something simple. It might be a grilled cheese and salad, but it's going to be a very simple that and salad meal. On Thursdays, I grew up in Texas, so I really crave Tex-Mex. So on th Thursdays, we do something simple and Tex-Mex. On Fridays, that's movie night. So that's the day that Bean gets to go out and choose something healthy-ish, but junk food-ish as well, so that she can enjoy eating chips and relaxing and watching the movie that night and not feel deprived that 
my diet or our diet at home is too overly strict. On Saturdays, that's the day we usually go to the restaurant. Um, as we go out and explore the city, uh, a good thing to do and a fun thing for us to do is also to explore different restaurants. And we do that with friends and we also do that with ourselves and uh, by ourselves. And it's always great to find a new favorite restaurant to go to. On Sundays, depending on if our friends are busy or not, or if we have dance class or not, then that's usually the day that I will spend making a home style meal. So a home style meal could be baked chicken, salad, side of vegetables, dessert, something like that. That's when I will really spend time actually cooking in the kitchen. And that's it for the whole week. Knowing what is going to happen from day to day saves me time, saves me energy, and I don't stress about what we're going to eat from day to day. If the ingredients aren't there, then of course I can change it up and I can um, trade one, one day for another day. And also, I have used the same basic grocery list for years, probably even before Bean was born. We use basic staples that we can find wherever we are in the world, and I make meals off of those. Um, and that, that keeps me sane. So, I'm not one to spend a whole day or hours and hours in meal, on meal prep. If you are someone who enjoys that and you get in there with your family and your kids and you make those meals for the month or for the week, kudos. That's great. Um, if there are other things that other of, others of you do to make the meal time and organizing your meals with your children simple, easy, and healthy, and getting rid of that drama around meal time. If you have tips and you want to share them, I would love to hear from you because that's what we're here to do is to make single parenting drama free and easy. Thank you for watching. If you know someone who can benefit from these videos, please don't hesitate to share with them. I look forward to hearing from you. And I'll be making more videos to help make your life simple.